If I put them on here, it's a lot more work. You know it to be true. This still smells like whiskey and there's nothing in it. Search there. inside your soul. You know it to be true. <laughs> you, know it's, you know I'm right. Otherwise, you can just go get a vector. Dude, come on, <laughs> man. <laughs> Welcome back to another Three Bourbon Years. Today we are reviewing three value rise. And we don't have a specific price point or really a rule on this, but three good rise that you can find affordably. We're probably all under 45 bucks. We think that these so much cheap. That we don't have a price on them. Somewhat cheap. We, we think that these <laughs> taste the best for the money that you spent on them. Yes. Yes. That's essentially yeah. what we're doing. We like these rise a lot and they're somewhat cheap. So we each picked one out and we're just going to go through them and talk about them. So. All right. So we each picked our favorite. So yeah, let's just I'll, I'll just pick a pick out one. Again. I don't whose is it? I don't know. I'm gonna go with Ooh. We're gonna crack this bad right. boy Ethan's open. pick first so, so we can Ethan's. crack it open and we can. While I talk it. about it, go ahead and crack it open. Yeah. Um uh, Sazerac Rye. Obviously, I feel like one of the more classic bottles you see, you know, it's just Well, it's, for us, it's right. very hard to find for For Wisconsin people, other it's, people. It's harder and not super hard to find. For other people it's hard to find. Oh my gosh, yeah, that's um, this, so Buffalo Trace product, right? Yep. Sazerac Sazerac. company. Yep. Um, this is kind of, I haven't had it in a while. We're gonna tell you right now, yeah, but actually, I'm it's kind of, there's a lot of like orange in this. It's orange peel, orange creamsicle. There's a little bit of vanilla. I haven't had it in so long, I couldn't yeah. tell you. Honestly, Another one that falls in the realm of like great just to sip on. You can throw it on ice. You can throw this in an old fashioned. You can have this uh, in a mixer and it's gonna be a great choice. People are gonna call you crazy for throwing it in. I know, but I agree with you. Down south, they kill for this. But for the price, what twenty eight dollars? Twenty twenty three dollars. Twenty eight ninety nine. Yeah, like so it's twenty nine dollars mm -hmm. plus tax. So and you're right on it's all very those smooth. notes. Yeah, it's, no, yeah, yeah, it's very it's citrusy. It's like orange peel and yeah, it's very yeah. citrusy, very uh, smooth. It's almost like an orange dreamsicle, like yeah. perfectly, yeah. like it's yep. that orange, orange and vanilla. Ninety proof. So easy to drink. It's yeah. Man. Again, this uh, is that good classic like buffalo oh. trace, like classic buffalo trace, but like rye. Yeah. 100% right expression. So that's number one. That's and a great, that's a great buy. Yeah, that's sure. a high value for the price. I mean, $28. Yep. That's. I think everybody should have one of these on hand. Yeah, and I, if you can is, find them. This is also a great right intro to your buddy who. Very, you, very good right. You know, well, cheap. Yeah, yeah, it's affordable, but your buddy's like, I don't really know if I like rice. And you go, hey, I got something for you. This isn't going to kill them on flavor. Not and, at all. You know. Throw a wrench into their classic bourbon or whatever yep. they're drinking. I don't know. All right, that's number one. There you go. Number two. Possibly the highest value in rice. Oh, okay. Rice. I wonder whose right. pick this is. <laughs> <laughs> this is my pick. Um, Old Forester 100 proof rye. Um, and honestly, it's got to be one of the highest value rye's. That you can it's possibly brown like. form and rye. I think it's, it's like what is it, twenty three ninety nine around? Yeah, here? yeah, it's <laughs> it's amazing. It's a hundred proof and it tastes potent. It's got a long finish. What's crazy is I wouldn't throw this into a mixer, and it's cheaper than this. Sorry. Oh yeah, and no, absolutely. I I mean, I actually I make a lot of old fashions. Yeah, you can, um, yeah, you can, but just because of the price point. Yeah. Um, but yeah, we can find it all over shelves here. It's it's super available, a um, hundred proof. So. Again, you're getting into a little bit of a, a higher proof point. So you, supposedly you should be getting more flavor, right? Because they're watering it down a little bit less. Um, yeah, I mean, what more is there to say, right? It's an Old Forester product. It's, if you like yeah. the Old Forester profile and you haven't really had rye yet, dig into one of these. That and is the best way to say it because I feel like Brown Foreman just naturally is like so sugary and so like caramely and vanilla icing forward and the oh, rye that. expression of that is just like like, like 23 bucks oh my god brown, <laughs> brown form has a very specific profile and it, it's like quintessential yeah bourbon and rye notes right yeah so definitely i think it's a it's a great value yeah. 20, 24 bucks it's amazing <laughs> all right we got mitch's pick last and it's actually something that I a, haven't even tried yet. California. Yes. So it's Redwood Empire, right. which California. I believe so. Right. Yes. Um, they are releasing some delicious liquid. Um, they're Emerald Giant. So I actually just bought this like a little over a week ago. And it is a very delicate, like that nice, grassy... You guys need to try it and we probably won't be polishing this to try it on the channel but it's very delicate it's a very rye like flavored profile and i it's so good and it's 35 dollars 
they're just and they're releasing some like cast strength stuff now and it's i'm really 90, excited 90 to try proof, it 90 proof age 90 four proof years. it is some of the best rye whiskey for the price that i've ever had and i recommend anyone who likes whiskey try out any of redwood empire stuff because they're doing <laughs> they're doing a very good job so okay so how much was this uh, 35 bucks so 35 24 23 24 30 those are value rise. Yes, definitely. Yeah, that's good. I would say yeah, uh, this tastes pretty good for sure. Do you um, like it? Yeah. To me, to me, it's also oh, like rice a, eggs in the front. Yeah, it's like a, a quintessential rye. Like if you if you're talking about rye whiskey, like if Very there was clean. a picture of a bottle for rye whiskey, this. These two would be right there with it, right? Yep. Is it like very like rye expression forward? Like it's very, yeah, you it's, know when you take a sip that it's rye. To it's, me, these are very yeah. similar. Yeah. yeah, very similar bottles. Yeah, uh, this just gives you that Buffalo Trace profile. A more yeah. citrusy too. Yep, this but. gives you just I don't know a little it's, bit more classic. It's kind of tame too. It's not. Yeah. This one's, I mean, if you're going for uh, something super potent and like I think more this of the sugar, still out of the three. Rye's gonna slap your tongue, right? Well, yeah. That's what I would go with, but I would say that's probably the best value. Unbelievable value yeah. across all these bottles. So, right. yeah. But yeah, thank you guys for watching. What's your favorite uh, low budget rye whiskey? Are they any of the ones that we chose? We're anxious to hear. Let us know in the comments. Otherwise, thank you for watching. We release videos every Thursday, so stay tuned. Otherwise, we'll see you in the next three Bourbon Years. All for one and one for all. Cheers. Cheers.